Well, hey guys, I'm on a new permission today and um, it's going to be a, a bittersweet hunt, which I'll explain to you um, in, later in the video. But um, this property, I've found three home sites that are showing on the map from 1909. And um, as you can see here, it is freshly clear cut. I'll explain that later. But anyway, let's get to it and see if we can find something. So we're heading up to the top of this hill. That is where the home site was, the first home site I'm checking out. And I mentioned in my intro that this was going to be a bittersweet hunt. And what I meant by that was this property is owned by a family who I have the utmost respect for. They are one of the nicest families you could ever meet. And this whole property, I mean, it's got to be hundreds of acres. Uh, this whole property was covered in pine trees, planted pines, large pines. And when Hurricane Helene came through, um, the pine forests were just completely decimated. The ones that weren't uprooted or snapped in half were bent over so far that the next storm that comes through is just going to blow them over if they don't fall over on their own just from their sheer weight. Um, I think there's iron in that signal. I'm not going to dig that. Uh, so anyway, they had to make the difficult decision to clear all this property and that's why it's clear uh clear cut it's been clear cut this week they're still working on it actually and um it's just a very sad situation the metal detectorist in me says great i've got some freshly cleared land with home sites on it documented home sites but the other part of me just you know i'm heartbroken for this family um, and there's lots of families like that who have lost a lot, you know, financially, emotionally. It's just a sad situation. So uh, that's why I say it's a bittersweet hunt. I'm happy and I'm sad at the same time. So now let's move on up this hill and see if this home site up here produces anything. So we are finally on the home site. And here's my first, I found a shotgun shell and a few pieces of aluminum stuff, but here's my first real relic. And there's a piece of china. So there should be more stuff like this in here, some glass and stuff like that. So um, I'm still looking for the iron signals. I'm surprised I'm not picking up a lot of iron yet. But, uh, but let's see what, what happens. So I found that piece of china. And then I saw another piece of china. Um, and I mentioned that I hadn't found any iron yet. Well, I literally took two steps. I'm not kidding. Two steps over to my right. And iron started popping up everywhere. But I just pulled this out. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing I've seen something similar to this on Civil War camps. And they said, I was told they were used on horse and buggies. Now, I know there's an old colonial road that came through this area. And, I mean, this could be later, a lot later, actually. But, look at this. This thing is very well made. <laughs> These uh, chain links, it's very heavy. Um, there's a telltale sign of age. There are two round, three round nails stuck in that. You see that? I'm not sure if you can see out here in the sun. There's three round nails. So round nails indicate a later home site. Um, not as early as I thought this might come be from. So this is, um, you know, probably late 1800s, early 1900s, I'm guessing. Um, you can see all the marks in this thing. That is handmade. That was made by a blacksmith, probably. Anyway, that's kind of a cool find. 
the whole brick sitting here. This is a handmade brick. This is definitely an old brick. Definitely old. So yeah, let's uh, slow down. We're going to stay here for a while. We should be on it now. Getting 91, 92, solid. And I didn't film this because, I didn't video this because I'm digging so much iron and little tiny pieces of aluminum and they sound great. Um, even the iron is fooling me big time today. So um, I don't know. This could be silver, could be trash. It's only one way to find out. I'm actually a little excited about this though because it's probably the best signal I've had so far and I'm in the right spot. Let's see if I can get this on camera. That. That's it. Oh, it's a penny. It is a wheat penny, so that's a good sign. Now that's interesting because most of the pennies I dig, they come up around 82, 84 on the uh, the dais too. Mm. can't make out that date right now but there's something we're in the right spot where there's wheat pennies there could be silver let's keep looking there it is what is that huh ah. piece of brass first I thought it was part of a harmonica reed but it's not like a some type of plate off of something maybe any of you guys know what that might be please leave a comment I'm gonna guess and say maybe part of horse tack maybe a strap guide saddle strap guide or something these two these two notches here, the top and the bottom, they're offset. This one's over to the right a little. Huh, I don't know. It's a relic. We've got an 89, 90, 92. It's very solid. I have been fooled, so let's have a look. I would love to find a piece of silver. Well, it's not silver. What in the world? You know what that is? Well, that is an old doorknob. A very old doorknob. It looks to be made of brass or copper. Pretty sure that's brass. Neat find though. Here's an interesting find. It's off of a Ford. At least I think that says Ford. Yep, it's a Ford. There's some red still in there. I don't know how old this is. There are different scripts for different times of periods of time, so I'm gonna have to research that a little bit. All right, we got something here. It wasn't a great signal. There's so many signals out here that I'm having to cherry pick. I'm having to be very careful um, because I'm I'm limited on my time and uh, so I'm, I'm really going with anything above like a 78 and, and I'm really mainly sticking with stuff 80 and above but uh, this came in at a 67 but once I pulled it out of the hole it shot up to a 78 so it's round let's see what it is 
oh man we have ourselves a button and you know what that does look to be a two-piece button that is a two-piece button that is a very good sign Now I don't want to do too much to this right now out in the field because I don't want to chance messing it up. It does have some corrosion on it, but I can tell you it is a two-piece button. So it's going to be an older button just in case. I don't, I doubt it is, but just in case it's like a, you know, a confederate button or something like that. I'm not going to touch it right now. I'm going to wait till I get home and get it cleaned up some. I do see some iron on the back, so it isn't a two-piece iron back button. But uh, I just don't want to, I don't want to damage it. Well, I'm up at what I believe to be, this would have been the front of the house. I mean, you can see, let's see if I can point it up. The road is here. But I've been finding more um, pieces of doors. I found a plate to a doorbell. This is just it's a little knob with something on it it looks like it says model 12 aladdin wick cleaner that's what i think it says model 12 aladdin wick cleaner so i guess maybe this cleans your um lantern wick or something or candle wick i'm not sure we'll have to research that i like finding stuff like this because it gives you something that you can actually look up you know with the words and everything and you can get a, a date on it so it's a nice little find